hello friends today we are going to see the trick to solve z parameter sums let me tell you in this video we are going to solve all complicated sums that were asked on the z parameter in gate exams also we are going to solve one of the gate 2020 sums and will apply the same trick in that sum also so watch this video till the end so starting with the first sum you can see the sum is for the given two port network the value of transfer impedance z to one in ohm and this sum is of double 2017 the network is here and you have to find out the value of z21 okay so the traditional way to solve this sum is that first you will write the z parameter equation okay so now you have written the z parameter equation that v1 is equals to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 v2 is equals to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 okay now you want z21 right so what you will do is z21 will be nothing but v2 by i1 when i2 is equals to zero note one thing this is the traditional way okay we will see the trick later okay so you know that z21 equation is now v2 by i1 when i2 is equal to 0 so it means that you have to make i2 is equal to 0 okay so once you have made i2 is equal to 0 it means the current which is flowing in this branch and in this branch will be in terms of i1 only you can say that in this circuit we will have only one current that is what i1 okay now you have to find out the current flowing in this branch and this branch okay so here you can see this two ohm resistance and two ohm resistance will have only one current right there is no current incoming here okay so we will have the same current here so we can say that this two ohm and two ohm will be in series okay it means in total we have four ohm resistance here okay and here also you can see we have four ohm resistance okay so it means we have two branches with equal resistance okay so the current which is going to divide from here will be equally divided into these two branches right since we have two equal resistance branches right so here also we will have i1 by 2 and here also we will have i1 by 2 and if you apply kcl at this node we will get i1 by 2 here i1 by 2 here okay so it means at this branch we will have i1 plus 2 plus i1 plus 2 it is nothing but i1 okay so now you know the branch current of all the branches you can apply kvl and get your this v2 by i1 okay so if you apply kvl in this loop we will get minus v2 plus 2 i1 by 2 plus 2 i1 okay so here we will have minus v2 plus 2 i1 by 2 plus 2 i1 equals to 0 right now if you make minus v2 at right hand side we will get v2 is equals to 2 i1 by 2 plus 2 i1 right so now if we take 2 i1 common from both this term we will get 2 i1 1 by 2 plus 1 okay if you simplify it we will get 1 by 2 plus 1 as 3 by 2 this 2 and 2 got cancel and we will have 3 i1 okay so v2 by i1 is equal to z21 when i2 was equal to 0 is 3 ohm okay so here you can see by the traditional way you have wasted lot of time just to find out one term from z parameter okay but uh, let me tell you in half of the time of this traditional way we can get all the terms of z parameter okay so let's see the trick so the trick is you have to find out this network okay so if you have this network this network is called as t network okay for t network the z parameter will be simply z a plus z b z b z b z b plus z b c okay so here you can see z a is your this resistance z b is your this resistance z c is your this resistance so your z11 will be nothing but z a plus z b z12 and z21 will be equals to z b and z22 will be nothing but z b plus z c i know some of us know this trick but don't know how to use in the sums okay so we will see all the things in detail so whenever the network is not same as this okay whenever you don't have network just simple as t you try to make the network into t okay so even if you tried and you are not able to make it into t then you have to use this one okay this is kind of traditional way okay so if you are not able to make the network into t then you are going to use the z11 z21 z12 and z22 by the formula of z parameter and you will make i2 is equals to 0 i1 equals to 0 to get all this term okay and now let's see this trick into action so here you can see if you make this network this is a pi network right so if you make this network into the t what we can get 
we are going to use the delta to star formula to convert this okay so our ra will be simply 4 into 2 upon total resistance okay so 8 by 8 will be ra is equals to 1 rb will be same 4 into 2 upon 8 okay so 1 rc will be 2 into 2 upon 8 it is nothing but 4 by 8 which will be 1 by 2 okay so we can replace this network into this right so this ra will be come here this rb will be simply in series with 2 okay and your 1 by 2 this rc will come here okay so now your modified network is this okay so this is our t network right we can directly write the z parameter of this network okay so our z parameter will be 3 plus 1 4 ohm and z 1 2 and z 2 1 will be just 3 ohm and z 2 2 will be simply 3 ohm plus 1 by 2 which is nothing but 7 by 2 okay so you can see how simply with the trick we can get our all the terms of z parameter okay so as per the question this z 2 1 will be simply 3 ohm right so you can see with the trick we can solve this type of question very easily okay now let's see the next sum second sum this is of ec 2003 the impedance parameters z11 and z12 of the two port network shown below are okay the network is here and the options are here okay so you can see this is a complex network okay and we know the z parameter of only t network right so first we will try to make this network into t network okay so for that first we have to make this into one branch okay so here you can see this is a pi network right you can see this is in the form of pi we can make into t we know the delta to star conversion okay so this is delta and we are going to make it into star okay so we are going to use the same formula it will be for this so for r a it will be 1 into 2 upon total resistance okay so so it will be 1 into 2 is 2 upon 4 okay so 2 upon 4 is nothing but 1 by 2 and similarly here we will have 2 by 4 it is nothing but 1 by 2 and here we will have 1 into 1 upon 4 okay so it's nothing but 1 by 4 okay now our network will be simply like this okay so this 2 ohm and this 1 by 2 ohm is in series okay so here you can see this 1 by 4 in the middle branch and this 3 and 1 by 2 is in series okay so now our modified network is somewhat like this okay so you can see this is in the t form we can write the z parameter of this directly okay so here it will be 5 by 2 plus 1 by 4 as a z11 z12 and z21 will be simply 0 0.25 and z22 will be simply 7 by 2 plus 1 by 4 this is 3.5 plus 0 0.25 it's nothing but 3.75 okay so from the option you can see we were asked to find out the value of z11 and z12 okay so z11 and z2 z11 we got as 2.75 okay so the correct option will be this a now let's see one more sum this is of k 2020 okay so let's see how we can use the same trick into this sum also okay so the question was in the given circuit the two port network has the impedance matrix z which is given here the value of zl for which the maximum power is transferred to the load okay so here this network is given and the question is asked for what value of zl the maximum power will be transferred okay so you know for maximum power considering this network as a resistive network rth should be equals to rl okay then only we will get maximum power okay so here you can see rz impedance z parameter is given as 40 60 60 120 okay so from this here you can see the network consists of all resistive network only okay so from the trick we know that z matrix is nothing but z1 plus z2 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 plus z3 for rt network right so what we are going to do is we are going to make a t network here and then we are going to find out the value of rts and the value of rth will be simply the value of rl okay so we can say if the load value is equals to rts then only the maximum power will be transferred to the load okay so first we have to find out this network okay so for this here we know the matrix is given as 40 60 60 and 120 okay so here we will have 40 as z1 plus z2 60 as z2 60 as z2 here and z2 plus z3 as 120 right so from this here you can see z2 is 60 okay so if z2 is 60 what value should be the z1 such that we can get 40 okay so for that here we can say that if z1 is minus 20 then minus 20 plus 60 we will get 40 okay so we can say z1 will be simply minus 20 right similarly we know z2 
we have to find out Z3, okay? So, Z2 plus Z3 is 120 and Z2 we know it is 60, okay? So, Z3 will be simply 60 to form 120, okay? So, we know the value of Z1, Z2 and Z3, okay? So, our T network will be here simply. This is your Z1, this is your Z2 and this is your Z3, okay? So, now we know that when RTH is equal to RL, then maximum power will be transferred, okay? So, we have to simply find out the value of RTH, okay? So, for RTH, we will open this load and we are going to short circuit this voltage okay this is what we have discussed in our previous thevenin voltage trick right so if you didn't watch you can watch from the playlist okay so here if we short circuit this and if we see from here then our rts will be simply 10 minus 20 is minus 10 okay so we can say rts will be simply 60 plus 60 parallel minus 10 okay so you can write it as RTH as 60 plus 60 parallel minus 10. Okay, so this was a modified circuit and you get RTH as simply this. Okay, now for parallel, we, we, we can say that 60 into minus 10 will be minus 600 and 60 plus minus 10, it will be 50. Okay, so if we simplify it, we will get minus 60 by 5. Okay, if we simplify more, we will get 60 into 5, it will be 300 300 minus 60 it will be 240 upon 5 okay so our rth will be 240 by 5 which is nothing but 48 ohm okay so we can say that the value of rl for maximum power to be transferred will be equals to 48 ohm okay so you can see the question was much more complex as of above but still we are able to use our trick to solve this sum okay now let's see one last sum this is of ec2006 in the two port network shown in the figure the z12 and z21 respectively okay so now you can see this circuit okay and this is a complex circuit if you are able to make this into t then you can directly use the formula but here you can see we can't make any star to delta or delta to star conversion to convert into t okay so this is impossible so for this we are going to use the traditional way only okay so we know the formula of z12 and z21 which is nothing but z12 is v1 by i2 when i1 is equal to 0 and z21 is equal to v2 by i1 when i2 is equal to 0 okay so first we have to make i1 equals to 0 if we make i1 equals to 0 okay so here you can see we know that v1 is nothing but i1 into re okay and if we say i1 equals to 0 then our v1 equals to 0 okay and we know the formula of z12 is v1 by i2 when i1 equals to 0 since we know that v1 is already equals to 0, then we can say that 0 by anything is nothing but 0, right? So, z12 will be simply is equals to 0, okay? Now, let's see for z21. z21 is v2 by i1 when i2 is equals to 0, okay? So, now if you make i2 is equals to 0, so you can see there is no current coming here, okay? So, whatever the current is coming here will be simply in this branch also, okay? So, here we can say V2 will be simply RO multiplied by minus beta I1. Here, all right, you can see that this beta I1 is coming in this direction, okay? So, we can say that V2 is equal to minus beta I1 into RO. You can cross verify this by applying the KVL also. If you apply KVL like this way, we will get minus V2, then minus beta I1, okay? Since we are moving like this and the current direction is coming towards us okay so we will get v2 as minus beta i1 into ro okay so our v2 by i1 will be simply z21 which is nothing but minus beta ro okay so our correct answer will be 0 and minus beta ro so, okay so this b option is correct so you can see if we apply this trick we can solve all complex sums of z parameter within 30 seconds okay so that's it for today thank you guys